Hey there, welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. It is my fourth day here in Poland and guess what I finally found? In Italy, I found it so much easier. I am here in Warclaw and I found my first tiki bar of the trip. Yay! Yay! Well, the problem is they don't call it a tiki bar. It's called a rum bar. Uh, and a rum bar is their equivalent of a tiki bar. They've got tiki drinks and everything like that. And guess what? It's super duper American themed. I mean, like incredibly American themed. There's zombie, which I just had. I had before I make this video, I got to make sure the drinks are good. Their zombie is totally on point um, and everything like that. And I want to talk about this tiki bar. So it's called the rum bar. It does have pretty tiki vibes. This kind of looks like, honestly, like a, a Vegas tiki bar. And you see they've got their bumbo rum, which is one of my favorite rums. They have a lot of the rums that they have on the carnival ship, which means that you see this, this shirt right here, this is like carnival tiki shirt. It brought the good omens. It made the tiki bar show up. I know this is just me talking crazy, but they don't make their own rum here, but they do make their own Falermo. Falernum. So they make their own Falernum here. And the tiki drink came as it should. It came on fire. It came properly decorated. They are using these look to be sugar cane straws, which I'm totally cool with. I mean, anything other than paper straws. But they do make their own Falernum here. It's delicious. And I have had a, um, a zombie. But the coolest thing is literally, I, I, I'll put screenshots in here. Their entire menu is based on Baywatch. Yeah, there's like Pamela Anderson and everything like that. Like there's Pam Anderson, there's another woman. The entire menu is funny and it's based on Baywatch. And they have all the classic tiki drinks. They have a Mai Tai, they have the old Cuban, which does not have a Vanna Club, unfortunately. Uh, rum Spritz, Dark and Stormy, Cuban Mojito, Right Hand, Pina Colada, uh, Woodford Winter Fashioned. Oh, shit, that sounds good. A Zombie, which is oh, what I've got right here. Uh, the, the Woodford Winter Fashioned is something I've never heard of before that has Woodford Reserve, um, something, Tiki Betters, and Kuki Moscovado, a Tennessee Sour, Don's, my, Don Nano's fave, a rum bowl, uh, a bunch of normal shots of liquor, and then they have their own, which is what's pretty cool. They've got uh, the Baywatch Angel, I'll review what's in it. Um, rum Cello, Ziona, I mean, it's not the, oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, no. It is a tender, gentle, oh, yeah. There, there, there's, there's, there's some English problems here. Huh? Wet and Wild is weird. The names are in English, but a lot of the ingredients are not in English. Forbidden Paradise, Long Beach Iced Tea, Sandcastle, Shark Attack, Aloha Baywatch. We need a vacation. I need a vacation from this vacation because I'm making all this content for you guys. Uh, Be Like Mitch. <laughs> be Like Mitch. Yeah, Mitch is exposing his private parts. So uh, definitely Be Like Mitch. It's got Bacardi, Orange, and things that are not in English. Um, it's kind of weird. That, uh, oh, okay, I don't know if it's just not in English or if they're brands from here. I guess that's what it could be as well. So again, I started with a zombie, that's my test. I'm not gonna make a video if they can't make good zombie. Some people are like tiki drinks, they like Mai Tais. I am a zombie lover. Also, this zombie glass is awesome because it has a handle. I guess you could really, I mean, it's hard to get weapons in, uh, in, po in Poland, but I guess you could use it as like brass knuckles. It is awesome. Uh, I am loving the zombie. I'm gonna try some of their custom drinks and bring it to you. And I hope they have some kind of merchandise I can bring home because I love to bring tiki merchandise home. This is the rum bar. It's in, oh God, Warclaw, I think is the name of it. And it is fantastic. I'm gonna try some more drinks and bring you updates on more drinks because yeah, that's a bang. I finally found a tiki bar in Poland. Oh my God, they just call them rum bars instead of tiki bars. I'm so happy. Uh, I am so happy. I am, I like, like, and it's, it's even got the proper glass and everything for a zombie. That's a zombie. Uh, what is a zombie? It's alcohol. It's a classic tiki drink. It's what I always start with because if, if you fuck up a zombie, you can't make anything else. Uh, 
Theirs has uh, their own room, Agastor Fitters, uh, Worthy Park. Yep, it's, it's, it's the, right, the right answer. So you blow that out because you see the sugar starting to boil. I don't want to melt my lens. You blow that out and then you take a sip and see if it's a proper zombie. The straws are bamboo. It's a proper zombie. It's delicious. I love it. So I was just served a, um, a very interesting cocktail. Uh, I didn't really even order it, but I'm not angry. I asked him earlier. This is called the Long Beach Iced Tea. Uh, it's got on the bottom bubble tea. Then it's got vodka. Then it has crack and rum. But here's what they did that's really cool. It's got Coke syrup, not Coke. It's got the strong Coke syrup and the crack and rum in there. That is a really uh, interesting alcohol choice to do. I want to take a picture of it real quick uh, for my phone. Uh, and I want to try it. Uh, you know, hold on. Shrek, 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 I need your help again. What is this, Shrek? Ogres are like onions. They stink? Yes. No. Oh, they make you cry? No. Oh, you leave them out in the sun, they get all brown, start sprouting little white hairs. No. Layers. Onions have layers. Ogres have layers. Onions have layers? You get it. We both have layers. <sighs> it's like an onion. What does it have? Thank you, Shrek. Thank you, Shrek. I, I have to say that so I know to edit it. It has layers. So we've got all those layers there. I'm not gonna mix them together and we're gonna give them a try. Oh, sh shit. It's boba, like, like popping boba from, look. It's got the boba from like the, the white girl drink. What's that called? What's that white girl drink called? Uh, boba tea. <laughs> uh, problem is, the straw's not big enough to actually get the boba. Uh, so uh, I can't reach it. But really cool. Really cool. I like that drink. That's actually a really good drink. The problem is, you brought me that drink before I even finished this drink. Oh, that was strong. <laughs> not bad, but I should not have sucked down the zombie like that. See, now my straw's gotten clogged by the bobo. Not good. Need bigger straws. But that's my one criticism here. Need bigger straws. But it's good. Try a few more of their drinks. Well, I just got me. I don't know why I've just become from the south of Florida, but I need a vacation. This is a drink served here at this tiki bar uh, that uh, is served. I'm going to explain this to you before I show you a picture of it. It's a drink that's frozen. It's in a pool float, and it's got cotton candy on top of it. Do me a favor. Imagine. Imagine. You ready? You ready? A pool float cotton candy drink. I shit you not, hand for scale. They actually have a tiny pool float. They've taken cotton candy. They've, uh, they've put an umbrella. I am sorry, this is the most... I have seen a shitload of ridiculous tiki drinks in my day, but I have never seen a tiki drink served in a pool float with cotton candy and an umbrella. I... I I, I literally, uh, I have no words for this. I'm uh, impressed and scared at the same time. Look. Oh. Here's the problem. Hold on. <laughs> Let's talk about the problem. <laughs> I say this in the best way. I can't get the drink out of the pool float. I guess I, okay. No. Oh, there we go. Okay. I can get the drink out of the pool float to drink it. Uh, I guess I have to take off the umbrella, 
put the umbrella in the pool float. Um, I have to have the cotton candy. Ah. For those of you that don't remember, this is in Poland. We're not in America. We're not at a state fair. We're literally in a country that my mom thinks I'm gonna die in. Seriously. Seriously, my mom said, it's so dangerous. You're gonna die when you go over there. It's right next to Ukraine. And I'm like, oh, it's fine. I'm in Poland eating some troll jizz. I mean, I, I, I mean, oh, God damn it. I mean, God damn it. And I've got a frozen strawberry, lime, alcohol, vodka, cocktail. Why, why am I eating cotton candy at God knows? 11.24 in the morning. I uh, Well, I need a vacation. Uh, I had to eat all the cotton candy because I can't put it down anywhere. Um, I'm going to get my floaty. Um, and this... Wow. Wow. That's a unique drink to them. They even have, literally, they have the Bacardi frozen drink machines here. They have frosted like a motherfucker uh, in the best way. Like, I can't even carve my initials in there. Um, that's a drink. That is, I mean, look, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, two days ago, if you were watching these blogs, I did have a uh, Lamborghini, which was like stacked like five glasses high and lit on fire. This is, <laughs> this is pretty extra too. Poland gets America. They, they really get America. I mean, again, I was talking to the employees here and uh, the wages are not great here for, for local citizens. I have always tipped a lot more than than normal people would. Uh, but, you know, <sighs> Viva Poland. I finally, finally, finally got my tiki bar here. And I'm so excited. Maybe I'll get one more drink in the next four minutes before last call. We'll see. Hey there, L let's, let's do something highly illegal. Well, not highly illegal here, but highly illegal in America due to Barack Obama. Barack Obama said, you can't bring in products from Cuba. And you know what I said? We're late enough this video. Fuck you, Barack Obama. Uh, and we've got Havana Club. And we've got a new one called Eminente. So uh, I have some, uh, this is important. This is actually very important because I have some water. I am gonna have the water between the two drinks because I need to be able to, and I have water and I have, they brought me some salty snacks so I can tell the difference. I know Havana Club. I've never had it straight. I've always had it in Coke. Let's take a look. This is illegal. What I'm doing right now breaks US law, but guess where I am? I'm in Poland. I don't give a shit if I'm breaking US law. Wow. I've never had a Vanna Club straight. I mean, that's kind of weird to say. Um, that's a hard drink to drink straight. I mean, I'm not saying it's bad. It's just strong. I have some water. And Ina, let's bring it here. Ina Mente Reserva. It is um, 41% alcohol by volume. Beautiful. From Cuba. And remember, if it's from Cuba, Americans can't have it, but the Polish can. Ah, oh, every day, more and more, I want to become a Polish citizen. Probably by investment. I'm working on a company idea. Don't tell anyone. It's a tour company that focuses on everything but the religious parts. Now, all the DOD people told me that's a bad idea yesterday, but you know what I say? 
Poo poo your asthma. Ooh. Eminente. That's an interesting rum. Generally, it have these mixed with Coke, but they're both really friggin' good. And you know what? I got one more surprise for all y'all. They have a drink that I think they unwillingly stole from Universal Studios Florida. There's this guy named Murph who works at Universal Studios Florida who made a drink called the Shark Attack. Um, uh, you know what? Insert clip of Murph here, Richard. We're getting the uh, Ocean Attack specialty drink here at Universal Studios. Wow. Guys, looks like uh, looks like the ocean. It's supposed to like uh, like a Josh. Of the old pineapple juice in there. there you go. Kind of almost makes it look like a pretty uh, cool uh, candle. I would buy. It doesn't taste like a candle. Does no, it don't oh, taste like a candle. There. I hope not. Now it's the blue. Ocean I'd swim in. Beautiful. I love it. You know what? Let's get you some uh, yum yum yellow. There it is. Not yet. Shark in the water, you two. Swim to the beach is a very curious shark. He would like to know which beach you would swim to. Ah, don't think that long. Just swim, swim fast. Don't look back any closer. You thought you got away. But y'all said sorry, not today. <laughs> chop, 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 chop. All right. I have not seen this yet. Uh, this is uncut. Um, I'm going to insert a clip of Murph. Well, you've already seen a, a clip of Murph. I'm going to put these over here. And then what are we going to get? We're going to get a shark attack, right? Uh, so this is called the shark attack. And you'll see there is blue water there. And oh crap! Oh no! There's a shark! Oh, yeah, it, it didn't dilute very well. <laughs> but essentially, there's a vial of blood here, and then you put the shark in the water, and uh, you've got a shark attack. I, I agree 100%. I don't know if somebody watched the Universal video. I saw Murph in the. Uh, in the California area, the California section of, uh, of uh, Universal do that, but... Or honestly, it could be, as Bob Ross used to say, could be a happy little accident. It's a good drink. What's in there, other than the, the red? What's in the shark attack? No, I, other than the red. I know what the red is. What else, alcohol-wise, other than the grenadine? What makes it blue? Blue curacao, or...? And what other alcohol is in there other than blue? Oh, blue curacao and a whole bunch of clear rum, right? So is that, that's a rum from here? No, 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 it's the same thing. Uh, with kaffir and mango. Uh, right, no, no, but I don't mean from here, but I mean from like, it's from this region. It's a rum made in, uh, in this region or it's a rum in the Caribbean or something? Yeah, it's from the Caribbean. Okay, so it's some Caribbean. With, uh, rum with uh, lemongrass. Lemongrass rum. Yeah, we have uh, white grapefruit. Oh, white Oreo, grapefruit. Uh, absinthe and palermo. They don't know what absinthe has done to me the last few nights. But here's the funny thing. This is great drink. Uh, I'm going to piss off Murph at Universal Orlando. A better drink than Murph's drink. Sorry. And they have your stupid hand puppet and everything like that. This is a tiki drink. This, so you might go, hey, look, no pants, which I'm not going to lie. Between uh, the last few bars, I did go back to my hotel and I did change into no pants. Very sexy. Um, but I'm just wearing shorts and, hey, Siri, what's the weather outside? It's currently partly cloudy and 45 degrees. It is 45 degrees Fahrenheit right behind me, and I'm wearing shorts because I'm a friggin' moron. Uh, but uh, this is a great little stop. If you're an American and you're in Poland, look, a lot of Americans that go in Poland, I only learned this last night, are military contractors. Uh, not many Americans come here on vacation, and the ones that do are old as hell. 
Um, I know, I'm, I'm making Globus videos at the exact same time. But the ones that are coming here are, uh, are, are, are old as hell. Uh, and they're not gonna go out to a tiki bar. But it is, it is a couple minutes before midnight. I gotta finish my, t oh, hold on. So I had a, they, they let me taste the pina colada too. The pina colada is great. I'm gonna finish my drink here, but uh, I'm not gonna involve you. Um, pretty much everything closes here at, at uh, 12 o'clock tonight because it's a tu tu Tuesday night. Yeah, it's a Tuesday night. So I'm gonna head back to the hotel uh, and I've got to get up for my tour at like seven, eight o'clock in the morning. But this is Richard from No Pants Profits here at the Rum Bar in, where, where are we again? I can't remember all these names. Or Warclaw, right? Or how do you pronounce it? The town, the town, the town we're in. What, 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 what? Droch, droch, I just... Droch? Droch. Droch? Droch. Fluff. Fluff. It's okay. I call it war claw. Uh, that's the... <laughs> that's the American way to say this shit. I'm sorry. I'm calling it war claw, because that's how it sounds. It's W-O-R-C-L-A-W. Um, and, um, I'm in war claw. <sighs> at the rum bar, reminding you that when you wear no pants, I mean, I'm not wearing pants today. I'm going out in 45 degree weather. It's only like a 10 minute walk to the hotel. There's only one thing you have left to lose. And you know what that is? That is your tiki shirt. This is when I wear my tiki shirt. The first day I wear my tiki shirt, I find two different bars that serve tiki cocktails. This is Richard from No Pants Profits, reminding you again that when you wear no pants, the only thing you got left to lose is your shirt. Have a great one. See you manana for night number five. Bye. Hey, uh, PPS there for everyone. Um, everything I drank at that rum bar slash tiki bar was a total. I, I, I left a 50 Zlotsky tip as well in cash, but it was a total of $43. Where else in the world are you gonna get that? for $43. Here's the problem. My drunk ass needs to figure out how to get back to my hotel now. Uh, but this is Richard from No Pants Profits. I'm rubbing my belly. It's a little itchy. Below where you can see. <laughs> Reminding you that when you wear no pants, and you know, if, if, if you've been following since day one, I used to look for my hotel in a skyscraper there's no skyscrapers in this city. Um, well, you wear no pants at uh, 12, 16 in the morning. There's only one thing left you've got to lose. And it's your tiki shirt. Because I'm wearing my tiki shirt today and I found two tiki bars today. And I am not angry. This is day four of eight. We have five, six, seven, and eight. We are, we are, we're halfway through this adventure. And my liver is crying out loud. The first day, what we did the first day? The first day we went to Food Town, we had some cherry vodka and everything like that. The second day, we went to a shot bar. The third day, for some reason, we, we went to a Depart US Department of Defense black site. And the fourth day today, guess what we finally found? There's a tiki bar. This is Richard from No Pants Profits, literally, Watching out and making sure he's not going to get hit by a train. <laughs> Reminding you that when you wear no pants, especially in Poland, because you're a moron, I guess. I'm literally, it's, hey Siri, what's the temperature outside? It's currently 43 degrees. It's 43 degrees, and what am I doing? I'm wearing a Hawaiian shirt and shorts. So I am one, <laughs> there's the shorts, you see the exposed leg. I am one that totally believes in wearing no pants and having my pilotas come up inside me. Because when you wear no pants, there's only one thing you have left to lose. And I think y'all know what it is. We're shooting for two videos at once at the same time. What you got left to lose? is your shirt. From uh, 
God damn, where are we? Hey Siri, where am I? Shit. Oh. You're at K Sajnichi 7 Rocklaw. Rockoff. Uh, thank you, Siri. Uh, from Rockloff. This is Richard. Tiki drinks deep. You might think the last three nights were bad, but each one of those drinks is like three or four drinks. Reminding you that when you wear no pants, there's only one thing you got left to lose. I think we all know what that is. It is your shirt. Have a great one. I'll see you tomorrow for night five of debauchery. I don't know if night six is going to happen, but because we're going to be in Auschwitz during the day. But we need to turn that frown upside down! So, this is Richard from No Pants Profits, rambling drunk to you at uh, 12, 20 in the morning, reminding you that when you wear no pants, the only thing you have left to lose is your shirt. Have a great one. Love you all.